So uh, this is how it looks like. So this came straight from China via Amazon. I actually got two of them. I built one and this one is still in the, the bag. So here's how it looks like. To make it easier for me to power this thing, I just added those uh, two wires. Otherwise, you just have that very simple connector. And it's a pain in the butt to uh, hook up the power supply. This is the power supply I'm going to use. This one, I also got it from Amazon. It's pretty good. It doesn't give you much amperage, but it's good enough. So I set it at 3 volts. I'm just going to connect, making sure I get the positive on the positive. And now I'm going to turn on my radio. And I'm sorry about that, but uh, the Christian stuff is the only thing I can get. So uh, it's just to demonstrate. It has nothing to do with anything. So you can see the thing lining up based on the uh, level, uh, based on the sound level. So it, it works as uh, advertised. It's pretty cool. Of course you would use music, but uh, I don't want to get a copyright uh, strike. So that's why I'm talking over the, the radio here. Okay, so here's the uh, documentation. It shows you how to build it, very simple. And on the reverse is the actual schematics. Uh, very simple as well. It's two casca cascaded NPN transistors. And uh, we're going to look into that in uh, LT Spice. So this is uh, that circuit in LT Spice. I mean, not exactly because here. I didn't uh, model the uh, electret condenser microphone. I just put a uh, sine wave to simulate an audio track. So here the sine wave is um, amplitude 10 millivolts, which is about the level you would get from a uh, electret condenser. I mean, it probably could be higher but let's do 10 millivolt for now. And here I'm using a frequency of 10 Hertz. I mean, uh, of course, as you know, the audio is probably from, uh, I don't know, 100 to uh, 15K or something like that. But here I'll just, I'm just putting 10 Hertz so that we can see the sine wave a little bit better when we uh, show the traces. So yeah, it's basically, other than that, it's the exact same uh, circuit. So here you have that first transistor. So here I'm using a generic NPN. So it's a common common emitter setup. So you have the base here, emitter here, collector here. Here you have a one megohm uh, resistor. So this first uh, NPN transistor, uh, so the output, which is at the collector, goes straight into the base of another NPN transistor. So it's uh, it's called like a cascade cascade uh, setup. So you have two cascading or cascaded transistors, but here, as you can see, there's no capacitor, so it's uh, it's called direct coupling, uh, which makes it a little bit uh, difficult to figure out what the bias is as this thing is running, because the bias now depends on the, um, the current going through this one, because the voltage here is basically this voltage, the VCC minus R2 times whatever collector current we have here. So it's a bit uh, difficult to, you know, figure out. And here I just put the f uh, the five LEDs with no current limiting uh, resistor here at the top. 
but it it works so it must be okay um yeah it's it's uh it's relatively simple as you can see there's no diode anywhere so there's no rectification happening which is which you think you have to do because otherwise you you would lose um, the forward voltage and since since this voltage is very small you cannot have a diode to go from ac to dc so in this configuration you kind of have to not doing any rectification so you have an ac signal coming in here it's not dc like it. it's not like a peak detector thing which is what i would have uh, used here but if a peak detector is much more complicated than this this is very simple and um, well it, it works so why not so let's run this thing I mean, there's not really much to look at. I mean, we can look at the we can look at the voltage here at the base of that first transistor, and it's going to give you the at the bottom here. You can see the uh, the DC operating point, so the biasing. It's at 735 millivolts, so it's going. Uh, so you have a sine wave on top of that 7, 735 millivolt bias. Nothing to really write home about. So now let's look at the voltage here at the base of the second one. So it's in blue. But the important thing is really the current um, that you get at the collector. The current... Uh, on each of these branches is the same, so they add up together. So let's look at the current on the, the first one. Okay, so the current is here, it's in red. So as you can see, for instance, here it's zero, and then it goes up to about 800 micro amps. So uh, let's say it's a little bit under one milliamp, so it pro it's probably going to light up a little bit the, all the uh, LEDs. And what we can do is that okay, so we are at 800 microamps. Let's see what happens if you uh, increase the amplitude of that uh, sine wave. So let's go back here. Let's change the amplitude. So the amplitude was uh, 10 millivolt. Let's uh, let's double it. I mean, the, the current should double as well. But let's make sure. So let's run this. So now let's look at the current on this in this first uh, LED that goes through this first LED. Okay, so this is the current. So you get double. 1.6 and you can look at the current of course in each of those it's going to be the same okay so for fun if you want or you can just so now the led with this 20 millivolt amplitude it's going to be brighter uh, twice as bright as before and if you change again the amplitude you double it it should double the current in the LEDs, so we can do it. So we'll put 40. Let's run that. Let's look at the current in that first LED, and now you got three milliamps. So yeah, so that's how it works. Yeah, so I, for I forgot to mention the big elephant in the room. It's not a DC level. It's not a DC current that goes through the LED. It's an AC current. So basically, the LED is uh, blinking. So it's blinking at the rate, at the same frequency as the, uh, as basically the your audio input. So, of course, you don't see that when you look at the LEDs. You don't see that they are blinking, but they kind they kind of are. So that's that's about it. I mean, it's a it's a it's a neat neat little uh, circuit.
And this circuit, this schematic, actually, I was looking at some other, I was Googling uh, audio control LED schematics, and I, I found the exact same circuit in, I think it was Instructables or something like that. It was the exact same circuit. Let me know what you think about this uh, circuit. Do you like it? Or would you would you have preferred a um, would you have preferred a uh, like a peak detector at this level basically? So that instead of having AC going in, you would have already a DC. You would just have a DC going in. All right, that's it.